Let me introduce the panel we have for you today. In the studio with me is Manisha Pandey, Raman Kripal, and joining us from her office in Delhi is well-known Supreme Court advocate Menaka Guruswami. Welcome, Menaka. Thank you. Thank you. She was the B. R. Ambedkar Research Scholar and Lecturer at Columbia Law School from 2017 to 2019. She has been visiting faculty at Yale Law School, NYU School of Law, and University of Toronto. And then kill me, yar. Chodo. Toronto. I had to say Toronto because, like any Punjabi, I have to, I have to build up to Toronto. Yar. Toronto Faculty of Law. How do you say it? I'm Toronto. Arre yar. You gotta say Toronto. And uh, you, 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 um, and mul- there's a multiplicity of needs that India, in its contemporary form, independent India, um, a resurgent India, a young India, where the average age is about 28 or 29, needs from criminal law. So, to reform, you know, what was left behind by a colonial dis- disposition is is a good thing. But what is the reform that we've got? Sedition law that was and is in the Indian Penal Code has just taken a new form. They've changed in the name. The... Allahabad to Prayagrad. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, so, so, so this, is, this is one part of it. So you're saying that famous film from the 70s, Dushman with Rajesh Khanna and Mumtaz, where he runs over Meena Kumari's child and he's not put into jail, but he says, now you will become their breadwinner and he goes to that oh. village and works and provides for them and Mumtaz sings, Dushman, Dushman, jo sab doston. That's, that, does, that never used to happen earlier? Let me tell you, anyone who hurt Meena Kumari in any way, whether in life or on film, should be put away forever. <laughs> now, I'll tell you the, the things that I do like, because there are some good things in these reforms also. Some good things include community service as a punishment, mm-hmm. which is right. a wonderful thing. And you have community service as a punishment, including for offences like defamation. Right. That's not a bad thing, right? I'm, mm. I'm, not, talk, I'm not on the offence of defamation. I'm on community service, sure. you know, which is more oriented towards even classically in criminal law towards reform and, you know, as opposed to retribution and so on and so forth. So, as an overall observation, would you say that the robustness and enthusiasm that they have demonstrated in laying down the criminal procedures they have not done the same in laying down safeguards? Yes, generally. I think that, you know, one of the things that protects us from the abuse of criminal law is, of course, procedural safeguards, right? So you have, you know, procedural safeguards that are provided for in corresponding procedural laws that go with penal law, so IPC, CRPC. But two, that we have always had statutes that address this kind of high value, you know, crime like terrorism, like money laundering, mm. like organized crime. And because those are specialist legislation, you have protections generally built in. Now, when you remove protection, you turn the, you you know, you replace the burden of proof, proof the presumption of innocence. Say like you do in money laundering statutes, then you, you have what is playing out in this country at present. Sure. Uh, so moving on, uh, we'll just discuss a bit of yesterday's lunar landing. It is a historic moment. Yes. And that Op India fellow who, who watches every Say. show Every show of ours and transcribes what I have to Please say. Please give him a speech Is that this? should go on the video right now. <laughs> say you're proud of India. Say you're proud of ISRO. And say Bharat Mata Pohanj Gai Chanda Mama. Welcome to Chota Hafta. Now, Chota Hafta is but a small, chota version of a complete weekly podcast, News Laundry Hafta. The News Laundry Hafta is where you get the week's news, what made the headlines, what didn't make the headlines, but the full version is available to subscribers only. And I don't mean YouTube subscribers, although YouTube subscribers are also very welcome, very, very grateful to you, but also to News Laundry subscribers, the paying subscribers who pay to keep news free. So you can also become a paying subscriber by clicking the subscription link. Now, what do you get if you're a paying subscriber? You get access to all our paywall content, all interviews, podcasts, and importantly, you get access to a full unedited hafta, where you not only get to hear the week's news, 
but you get to hear the news laundry editor's positions on matters. You get to see their biases, what are their prejudices. It's an exercise in transparency while also informing you. And we have a few quips and jokes and agreements and disagreements thrown in. So listen to the full hafta, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. Here we go. Angrez apna lagan or news laundry apna hafta kabhi nahi chhodte. Welcome to another episode of Hafta. We record this on the 24th of August 2023 at 3 in the afternoon. I hope many of you or most of you watching did take part in the Independence Day package and the discounts we had and all the goodies that we've news laundry was giving including subscriptions. Because we don't take ads and as our slogan says, when the public pays, the public is served and advertisers pay. Advertisers are served and as you can see these days in newspapers and channels, governments across states, across parties are flooding news with ads. So suddenly there's a lot of money with news platforms, but it's your own money, except it goes through government. So it doesn't serve you, it serves the government. So which is why, direct baat karo, forget the broker and contribute and pay to keep news free. Please top up our NL Senas. So let's get straight into this, Menka. You have, you know, given it a balanced and nuanced uh, kind of take on this uh, because usually in these days, everyone is committed one way, completely this way, completely that. That's the world we live in. Yeah, so what's your yeah. take? And uh, many people have expressed alarm and concern, uh, even paranoia. Do you think how much of it is legitimate in the context of what we see, how laws are used in India? There's no question uh, Vinandan, that we've needed a very serious, rigorous, and thoughtful law reform effort in this country. Hmm. You know, part of independence, you know, which Independence Day we've just celebrated, is to actually move beyond colonization. One facet of colonization, apart from many facets, is, is law, the legal system, criminal law specifically, which was always used to keep the native in control. These are the origins hmm. of the codified statutes. Having said that, the IPC, CRPC, and the Evidence Act have been the bulwark of the legal system in this country. Now, I a lot of my practice is at the criminal defense bar. Right? So we defend. I defend right. those accused uh, of crime. So I have to tell you that. right? So my lens and perspective on the law comes from the defense bar. Right? Hmm. Now, there are many facets of the law, of the penal code and the code of criminal procedure that need to be reformed. Now, in code of criminal procedure, you have also very big issue. The two biggest issues, uh, in my opinion, is that whereas previously the judge could detain you for in police custody for up to 15 days. Uh, typically, when we go to court and we oppose police custody, you know, the judge will give five days to the police. And you go back again and maybe the judge will give another three days and then another two days. But 15 is sacrosanct. Mm. After that, you go to judicial custody. Right. Judicial custody means you get a modicum of protection against the police having uninterrupted access to you. Right. You know, so it gives you some respite. Now that respite, that protection of only up to 15 days of police custody has become 90 days, wow. three months. That is huge. Of police custody in, you know, very significant crimes. Life imprisonment, death, above 10 years, which is many, many offenses out there. Even if it's below 10 years, even if it's, you know, a, you know, a, a sort of a more, for lack of better language, a less heinous crime. It's police custody up to 60 days. So, of course, you'll keep going to the judge saying, you know, we want custody. We don't want you to have custody. But the judge can extend it up to 60 or 90 days. Now, I don't know if if you know folks who spend time in police custody. I do. But it's very harsh. Yeah. And because also it's a lockup, right? As opposed to like, if you go to Tihar, it's like a hostel yes. then. that's a, It's yes. a hostel, there's a Tihar, kitchen. There's, you know, there are but here you're in the lockup. The lockup, you know, it's, it's not, it is not equipped to house people like a hostel is. And yeah, it's very and hard. So that is one facet, but let us assume they address the infrastructural issues, right? Mm. But it's this whole issue of what does it do to mental health when there is uninterrupted access? It is, from what I understand, very badly drafted and worded with all sorts of grammatical errors, etc. And having once received an article from a ministry where even the title, which had four words, there were two spelling mistakes, Clearly, 
I mean, I don't know whether that is something that they do or does that demonstrate rushed manner in which this was prepared? And two, is it generally like I remember when Section 66A happened of the IT Act and News Laundry had you know run a full campaign on how this is so damaging and it was there was you know vague words like annoyance like if you annoy someone like they're ridiculous they're very vaguely worded. Does this suffer from that huge lacuna? Because if it is vaguely worded, interpretation is entirely up to the SHO. The moment you suddenly introduce something new, which may be too ambiguous, too vague, you know, which needs to be refined, and that becomes the statutory framework, you know, you are in for a lot of trouble in terms of how to interpret it, on how it will be abused, on how how it will be utilized by the state against those who are accused of offenses. So I think that if you are going to do away with something that is, you know, almost what, 1860, 1960, we're in 2023. Mm. Now, so let's round it up, 150 years old. Right. Then it must be replaced by something that understands the ills of the existing system and reforms it in tune with constitutional values. Criminal mm. law cannot be distinct from constitutional values or cannot be different. The presumption of innocence has to has to continue. The Britishers have given up criminal defamation and yes. we, are, we, are, we have, we we have, it. Of, we have made it, improvised it uh, on it, you know, further. So what, is, what do you think about it? No, really, I mean, I think this whole idea, you know, we, we need to have a better way of addressing, you know, civil and criminal defamation. You need better definitions. Um, you know, you need to be able to redress it. Look, I, I'd be interested to see how the parliamentary committee addresses these things, right? Um, uh, and I'm hoping that you said it was a 28-member committee. I'm hoping that you will have a majority of members who are actually interested mm. uh, in having a serious conversation about these codes. The point with TV media now, it's even beyond the fact that you report fairly mm. once something has happened in Umar Khalid's case, Sudha Bhardwaj's case. It's the TV media that instigates the trial in the first place. Forget instigating the trial. Yeah. They are saying, why is he not arrest so-and-so? He is, like, you know, legacy media doesn't And you so need strong so defamation is... laws for it, civil defamation. Oh. You should be able to sue the person. I think that's the oh. only way you can get out of this. No, the there's way you a can lot this. more to discuss. We also need to know that uh, how the new law is defining conspiracy. In mm. case of Omar Khalid, mm. it's a case of conspiracy that he was part of a WhatsApp group. Hmm. You know, which, uh, which right. conspired and uh, caused riots. And in all these activist cases who were jailed, getting judicial custody used hmm. to be a breath of relief. Yeah. Yes. With her saying that it's 90 days. Is that, that, is, that is, is revelation. alarming because really usually Absolutely that's what the lawyers enough. would push for. Ki, 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 jail 60 and 90 days is huge. It's huge. And we have two active NLC in our projects. One, thank you wonderful subscribers, has almost topped up. Ridesh Joshi, mm. who's been reporting from the hills. And in fact, as we are recording this, another headline is coming. There's been another landslide in Kullu. Yeah. Uh, the video which is available. I mean, it's like the mountains are falling apart. Uh, this is the second such series that Ridesh Joshi has done with us. Uh, and it's almost topped up. So thank you for that. But what I am a little concerned with is the slowness in the topping of, well, not almost, it's, it's 435 is the goal and we are at 345. So we're just about 90,000 rupees short. But the Monu Manesa documentary, which really uh, takes a lot of time, effort and risk to make, the goal is 6 lakh. We're just about at 185. Uh, so I do hope you guys can top that up. Uh, now let's get on to the Chandrayaan coverage and are having reached the dark side did of you, the moon. Did you see Kali cry? So India Today I was watching. Hmm. And anchor, who is that Shivarur guy? Was ah, Shivarur was so Shiva, <laughs> <laughs> So Shivarur, uh, he was... Uh, he was just saying that Prime Minister is in South Africa when this is happening. Mm. It has come uh, 200, but Prime Minister uh, wasn't there. Mm. So Prime Minister came just for a while. Mm. He was he started giggling. You know, he looked, oh, Prime Minister is there, Prime Minister is there. <laughs> and then and then he Prime Minister went away. Then he said, Oh, just just to tell my viewers that we don't have control over the feed. It is coming directly from the ISRO or from Durdashan. So, okay. so, so, because Prime Minister wasn't there on the, uh, on so the they are not blamed ah, for so, taking so him they off. should, they should not be blamed that PM is not there on the screen. I see. So PM comes, but I think it was phenomenal to listen to the ISRO scientist speak, S. Yeah. Nath, when he came, and you really saw leadership. You yes. know, the first thing he does is he introduces the team. 
he congratulates everyone he talks about how this is you know decades of work and generations have worked on this congratulated uh, you, even chandrayaan without one. any jingoism yeah, yeah okay. you're talking about the scientist not scientist. mr modi because this doesn't sound like mr no, modi, modi ji because i i i heard uh, someone on uh, fm today i think it was fever fm talking about this one of the scientists and he said and you know this is a part of the legacy that yeah. what nehru created i was like beta teri to naukri gayi <laughs> you know you cannot credit nehru with this man you're done modi so, was also there for a while in no, his of course he said amrit kal he did hmm, i mean but that he this took is a little time before he said he said it's a global thing and all but yeah but i think one thing to note was that modi is always performing for an audience i think this performance is not for an indian audience it was for an international audience it but on the audience. bit of you know like what are we what does it do for me i mean we had this discussion several times but i think science like arts also sometimes it should be for the sake of it sure. also because you know sometimes you have to unburden yourself from what does it give me in the immediate 5 years 6 year future something will come off anyway as, this is r and d research and development research and, and well. i think uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, research the chemistry and the physics of uh, you know moon that Uh, you know these experiments are going to find i think will definitely help the mankind yeah. so so i think in uh, if you just see the entire thing you know just don't apply any jingoism i think it's it's a quite a historic which is why i think the isro feed really worked for me ah. because it was just clutter feed it was, it was very nice good. all the, from the bbc bulletin to you know cnn uh, you know they all led with india has reached the moon so there was clearly we were in the news for all the right reasons for a change so I think that soft power is definitely something that you can actually observably see that now one is known for that and that is not frequent you know that India is always in the news internationally mm-hmm. for something amazing that's done uh but you know other than that what are the other I mean I'm I'm, I'm sure you know we'll we'll come to know is that because even initially the the space race was more a political statement right bas muft mein itna ich milega for the full uncut podcast subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free the best way to listen to the hafta and indeed all our podcasts is through the news laundry app you can download the app by clicking on the links given in the show notes so do download our app and get the best podcast experience and also pay for news and support a new news media ecosystem that news laundry is trying to encourage where we are accountable to you because we run on contributions that you make we don't take government ads we don't take corporations ads so that news serves the public because when the public pays the public is served subscribe to news laundry click on the link in the show notes below and proudly say i pay to keep news free